Hi, I'm Claire Rhodes, the Community Engagement Coordinator here at UAW. Over the next few weeks, the Community Engagement team will be touching base with some of our community partners to find out a little bit more about how they're doing and how they're responding to the current COVID-19 situation. Today, we'll learn a little bit more about AIM, the incredible mentoring program for young Indigenous students that started right here in Australia and has now expanded around the world. We're lucky enough to be joined by Darren Brady, Darren looks after the centre operations here in Wollongong. Welcome, Darren. Thank you for having me. Thanks for joining us, Darren. If we could get started with how COVID-19 is affecting you and your work at the moment. For AIM itself, we shut our operations quite quickly, um, four weeks ago, and we were directed to work from, from home. Um, that ceased our engagement with the, uh, our stakeholders, our schools, the university itself. Um, and then, you know, our corporate partners. Um, within that time frame, within a week, um, the, the, the executive team came together because we, we still believe that we could um, provide some sort of support resource to those billion plus kids who, again, were left with, with uh, a teacher, with, uh, you know, again, those key, key people in that, their, their, their school um, who they used to rely on. So we, um, then came up with and identified a show that we've named Imagination TV um, via YouTube, which is live streamed to the home, um, accessible to every young person at home um, with a mentor. Um, we have a segment episode from Monday to Friday. Mondays is our, I think is, um, episode. So think about, you know, we've had past guests like Stan Grant, for example, um, academics, educators, um, teachers, knowledge holders who can again share their thoughts, their ideas, their concepts on the theme of the week. AIM has 21 values uh, and we're utilizing the values each week to again structure that conversation and that insight which in my point of view is that uh, those, those values are, are, are real to overcoming and engaging with everyday life. Yeah, look, that's amazing. And I think the response that AIM has had to flip its model and pull things online in such a short space of time is absolutely incredible. Definitely provides us with a lot of inspiration. So congratulations. Well done. Thank you. So on to our second question. I'm just wondering if you could tell us a little bit more about some of the challenges that are currently being faced by young Indigenous kids who are part of the AIM program. AIM is a part of a whole group of other key resource support that the school brings together to support their, their, those students. Um, now, all those support scenarios are, are no longer available in its norm, norm anyway. Um, that's, that's huge because um, kids, kids, they, you know, year nine and 10 after experiencing year eight and an AIM journey, they, they look forward to it. AIM provides, you know, uh, that, that, that trigger of, of hope and, and that trigger of self-belief in themselves and the, that, that positive light in, in, in their life whilst at school. Um, they, they're, they're missing that sort of stuff. So with that in mind, do you have any tips for the UAW community about how we can stay motivated and energised and positive at this time? Because that energy and motivation and resilience is something that AIM is really known for. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, I can share with you my my experience and reflection on my personal journey in the last four weeks. Um, I am in Wollongong where I don't have any access to family. Um, they're all up north. That's been a big, big trigger um, to, you know, how my mind frame has been going. So I would recommend, you know, I know you, you physically can't even engage with some of your family members at the moment, but we've got other, uh, other tools like FaceTime. FaceTime is an amazing tool to, to, to laugh and to engage and just make sure that we're okay. Um, I would say stay positive um, by staying positive. Utilise music as a tool to engage with what, the way you, you operate in your home daily, um, whether it's cleaning, washing up. Um, I make sure at every meeting that I have, I put on music. Again, it's like that, you know, elevator music. <laughs> I, I do that, but I put on, you know, all my hits, the 90s hits, all that stuff. But music is important. Um, staying active, um, that's been another struggle for me. I, 
Um, I'm not a beach person, but I, I've started to get out of my comfort zone to go down and enjoy and just go for walks along the beach. Um, it, it's amazing what you can do in an open space and be actual be present um, and not have to think about all the things that we, we used to think about. I think that's really amazing advice and it's definitely something that I think is, um, you know, both true to you from what I know of you, Darren, but also true to AIM as well around that spirit of creativity and connection and a sense of place as well. So I think that's really amazing advice. Thank you so much. No worries, no worries. Okay, and lucky last question. I just wanted to know if there's anything that you would like to say um, to supporters of AIM at this time. Firstly, just thank you to, to the UOW community and for those who go that extra mile to, to support AIM in many ways. Um, we, we greatly appreciate um, your support and it allows us to continue um, to do what we, we do, especially when times like this uh, has happened. AIM hasn't been able to to let go of any staff because of, again, those vital opportunities. Um, UOW provides a, a floor for their, their, the partnership that we have. Um, so that, that that's a big one. And um, we, as, as I said earlier, we are forever committed to um, supporting, again, continuously, those young people, those young people who, who um, are calling out for that, that support that AIM can provide um, in many forms, including that mentorship space. Um, and we're looking forward to, um, though the, 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 we were introduced to a challenge, there were some opportunities that have popped up, um, which again, I'm looking forward to engaging UOW and the, the UOW community with. Yeah, that's amazing. Well, we're really looking forward to continuing to work with you as well. Um, a big thank you um, to you for your time today and for sharing your thoughts with the UAW community. Thank you so much. Thank you.